aqui. Smells like something dead. Get a move on, Bronson. I'm leaving in ten minutes. What is that smell? Uh, what smell? It's like something's dead in here. Oh, it's putrefied. It's like rotting flesh. It's absolutely revolting. and wash those feet. <sighs> Faye likes to run her fingers through my hair, you know. Yeah, what's left of it. <laughs> Linda, I'm leaving in six minutes. Am I going bald? Nah, just receding. Because you've got dandruff something fierce. Dandruff? Do you think I'm too old for Faye? Of course not. Women go for men who look like their grandfathers. <laughs> Grandfather? Pete, I'm leaving in two minutes. Do you think I've got dandruff? Nah, but you're going grey. Grey? <laughs> Said that the recession dandruff receding or good sector. grief. Come on, Linda! Finally, Daddy. police have still not recovered an experimental device stolen two nights ago from the government scientific laboratories. Police warn anyone who has knowledge of the whereabouts of the stolen device not to activate it under any circumstances. You're gonna be in big trouble when Splodge sees your hair. No one's crazy <laughs> enough to go to school looking like that. Oh. <laughs> See you, Bye, Dad. Dad. See you, kids. Hi, kids. Hi, Faye. Hi, Hi Faye. Hi. Not at work. Morning, Bronson. Lovely day, isn't it? No, it's not. <laughs> Bye, Dad. He'll come round. He just has to learn that love isn't like water in a bottle. Well, you know, it doesn't run out. I mean, just because I've got some love for you doesn't mean he goes short. In the end, he'll be better off. Still spiky, huh? Yeah, I even tried plaster of Paris. <laughs> what are you looking at? Why don't you take a long walk of short pier? Everyone will be copying this style suit anyway. Yeah, here today, gone tomorrow. Splodge, what are we gonna tell him? Um, we gotta get our story straight. Yeah, yeah, um, straight. We'll be right if we just stick together. Stick together. Stick together. Stick together. What's going on here? Where? Here. Oh, here? Yes. Uh, here. <laughs> this way. 
Set. My coffee blender. Interesting hairstyle, boys. You better have a good excuse. He's very touchy about his hair. Got your story straight, boys? Nah, just out here. <laughs> well, who's your spokesperson? What's that? The one who gets the blame. Look, guys, we'll all just stick to the same story, okay? It's not as if it's anyone's fault. Right. Yeah. We take the blame together. Okay, Grips? Absolutely. Definitely. Without a doubt. Whose idea was this? His. His. Of course. Who else would come up with such a crazy idea? What's the meaning of this? I, I didn't do it. It wasn't my fault. There's a perfectly logical explanation. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, let's hear this perfectly logical explanation. And it better be good. Well, it all started yesterday. We were coming back from the inter-school sports. <laughs> and we were taking the car ferry back to Port Miranda. when I was in the Navy. I don't remember you being in the Navy, Harold. Oh, yes. I was in the Sea Scouts. Where's the other 
Right, the big bloke. I don't know. Get out of the way. Who's he? Some creep. Those clothes. Get real? Give me those clothes. Over my dead body. That can be arranged. Why do we have to go to a home, Harold? We had a home. The senator knows what's best, Mum. <laughs> you know, it's costing us a fortune to send you to Sunnyside Village. <laughs> Graveside, more like it. <laughs> you are tight, lad. Blanky, where are you? Is feeling rather unwell. Uh, do you have anything for motion sickness? Oi! See the tall, skinny bloke with a bag? No, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, the old C6 Wang trick, eh? Well, I'll fix you. Ah. I think I'm gonna be sick, Grips. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Shirt in. Sit down. Pay attention. Uh, sir, can I please go to the toilet? Yes, of course you can go to the toilet. Uh, I'm desperate. Yes, of course you are. Now. You, you double-crossing scum. Where is it? What are you talking about? The perfect cover, eh? No one I know it was you. Except me. Where's the money? I didn't take it. Must have been that other kid. He took my clothes as well. Let's go. Well, what about my pants? All right. Hurry up. Uh, well? Nah, none of them's him. School uniforms must be worn on all school excursions, Pete. Yes, sir. Come on. Here we are, over here. Come on, both of you. You all right? You right, Dad? Yeah, I'm fine. Now you sit here and I'll attend to Harold, right? There we are. Now, James, you look after your grandparents. I'll go find your father. Hey, isn't that twist bag? Take your thieving eyes off it. Mm. Oh. Don't talk to me like that, dropkick. James, behave yourself. Tough guy, huh? Hand over that bag. Get lost, shrimp. Ooh, shrimp, shrimp, eh? eh? Yeah, shrimp. Get him. <laughs> You're dead meat. Oh, we're terrified, aren't we, guys? Yeah. Uh, listen, guys, be reasonable. He asked me to mind his bag. Who did? Uh, what's his name? Twitch. Twist? Yeah, that's the one. Uh, uh, uh. 
Well? Not here. Not unless he's had a sex change. Nah, can't do that. I think. Oh, love the outfit, Pete. Very nice. We'd love to stay and chat, ladies, but... Going bald? Nah, Dad, don't worry. I mean, it just comes with old age. <laughs> what about grey? Am I going grey? Don't be silly, Dad. I mean, you're not a kid anymore. But... No. I've been in this job for over 30 years. And in all that time, I've never heard such a load of claptrap. Lies, falsehoods, and downright dishonesty. Do you really think I would find that story funny? Hmm? I will not be set up by a ridiculous farce invented by four harebrained students. <laughs> it's true, sir. For once, Twist is telling the truth. <laughs> You boys are either incredibly stupid, unbelievably warped, or else you are unmitigated liars. But I am going to get to the bottom of this. Well, to be quite honest, sir, we're not involved. We didn't say a thing. What? Twist us off in dreamland, sir. Uh, we, we were just trying to protect you. I can prove it. Stop, don't, don't. Don't touch it, sir. 
This piece of adolescent junk makes you younger? Yep, or older. You expect me to believe that? Glenda, get in here. You boys can start looking for a new school. You're all expelled. But there aren't any other schools in Port Miranda, sir. Really? Out. Wait outside. Glenda, take a letter to their parents. You know, Glenda, I wasn't always bald. I had a full head of hair when I was younger. This is all your fault, Twist. My dad's gonna kill me if I get kicked out of school. I don't like it any more than you do. Well, we've got to think of something. Oh, no. It's... it's Miss Newman. Oh. Personally, I'd really like to thank you, boys. But I think he might still be very touchy about his hair.